What is going on people? Welcome back to another episode of Ruse Reviews and happy Good Friday. Happy Easter weekend wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's Good Friday here now so uh, hope you're enjoying that with your friends and your loved ones. But it's time for another workers review and I didn't want you to think that I just did new products like the latest thing out and all that kind of thing because this channel is I sort of wanted to make it sort of down the lines of real workers reviews stuff that I actually use stuff that I'm going to be using stuff that I want to try out um, so without further ado let's get into it right today's review is on quiver by Kelvin Chow and the guys at Glitch Studios. Here it is. So, let's start off. What did you get in the box? Well, this is, <laughs> this is literally the box. It's this small. I've had this for quite a while now, like literally about a year or so. And obviously there's guys out there that use this day in, day out. I, I myself am one of those people. So if you've seen like loads of reviews of this, I apologise, but I thought I would give you my own personal opinion on it. So, if we open up the box, we get um, the quiver itself and we get a little foam thing here not really much use and we get a little bit of paper that has the link to the instructional video and your password on it so let's have a look at the quiver itself very well made product i've never had anything from glitch studios before i'm not sure what they've produced previously i believe this went out under another name before as well. I think this product has been released or a version of it has been released called something with initials. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it's obviously been rebranded and brought out as Quiver. Now, obviously now you can get the Quiver uh, Plus, which is slightly bigger than this. I've had a look at it. I've tried it. it. Wasn't for me. This was sort of like the perfect size Quiver for me. And it's a very well made product. Um, straight out of the bat, ever since I've been using it, this actually, this is after a year's worth of use. And look at the the condition how it's held up that's been in my pocket has been in suit pockets all over the shop and that's held up really well so i mean i could i suppose this is not only a trip review but an owner's review of uh having it for a year probably probably over a year probably a year and a half and really really using it in the trenches so to speak so without going into too much detail about the product or blowing any secrets all you need to know about Quiver is it is a miniature change bag. Those of you that know what a change bag is, there have been loads of versions out on the, more, uh, on the market. This is just a practical, everyday, in your pocket carry version of one of those, which is brilliant. But for now, I thought I'd cut in a little bit of footage that I did ages ago of me using Quiver. So, here it is. <music> So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was just a little bit of fun that I just had messing around with it. So, the teaching and the download itself is very well taught by Kelvin Chow. Um, he goes into a lot of detail, a lot of um, sort of principles that it can be used for. Here are some of the principles I've jotted them down. A mystery card plot. Those of you that do the mystery card plot, it has a, it's a very good application using this wallet. Multiple outs. You can have the secret side of this um, holding a couple of objects as a multiple out routine. A couple of other applications are like a billet switch if you use uh, loads of tiny billets if those of you that know about things like the amaze box for example uh, very similar principle to this coin switching as well which is another thing he mentions on the download i haven't used it for that personally i have tried it uh for those of you that know any of eric jones's stuff or gary jones his stuff a lot of jones is about and what's great is you can have the hidden coins in the secret pocket 
and uh, you won't be able to hear them when you're shaking because of the way that this is made and designed. You can have a few coins um, secretly hidden and you can open up, show nothing's inside there, give it a bit of a shake, they can really see nothing's inside there and then produce um, a coin or whatever you need to do. So a couple of other applications for this product. There's a few sort of ideas that have gone around about um, sort of like a bank nights routine with multiple quivers, which is cool if you want to spend that money and you can do that, then great. I myself have been using it in a bit of a different way. For those of you that perform Crazy Man's Handcuffs, you have two rubber bands, they, they link, they unlink, they pass through each other, um, you do whatever you want to do, you then open up uh, the quiver and place them inside and you give it a blow or you hand it to somebody or whatever and then take them out, nothing inside and they've linked up. This is of course using Paul Harris's linking bands routine. Um, that's just a, a quick idea that I've been using it for the last couple of events and it's been going quite well. I should point out the main thing, the main thing for me which is great about this product is they can open up the quiver. The spectator can open up the quiver and find the final reveal, which is great. So literally hands off, you do whatever you need to do, play something inside so they have got some bands in, hand it to somebody, do whatever they want, um, literally in, 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 their, in their hand like that, or just being pinched. Then when they open the purse up, there's nothing in there. Or you can do it vice versa you know there's some really cool routines that you can do with people's rings traveling um, from an empty purse and having it appear in their hands their ring in their purse um, which is really cool and really workable there's great mentalism applications for this product as well as I say I think bill switches have been mentioned if you do like a serial number reveal you can have like um, someone fold up a tenner or fold up a banknote or something they place it in they hold on to it the entire time you do a toxic force or something and it reveals the number and when they pull it out and it's on their tenor. Uh, that's just great. You know, that sort of stuff that's workable in everyday situations. So, a couple of good and bad points on this gimmick. Good point. The teaching on the download is incredibly well thought through. Kelvin goes through lots of ideas, um, how to handle the gimmick. Um, really good breakdown of sort of different ideas and variations that he uses. So, a bad point of this product. Occasionally, right at the start of me using it, when the spectator went to open it, or when I went to open it, it wouldn't open on the secret side of the pouch. The mechanism in this needed to be reset, and there is a very easy way of doing it, um, but I don't think it's taught on the download itself. I know there's a video of him floating around online somewhere uh, where he shows you how to do it, but yes, if that was included in the main download, that would be great as well. It needs a bit of working in the gimmick, basically, before it starts to perform exactly how you want it to perform, um, which for most people isn't a problem, but it will just mean that you can't always just go straight out and use the gimmick straight away, okay? Work it in, practice it, use it a load of times, um, and then once you're happy with it, then use it. Another good point, it's totally hands off the last bit. You know, you're giving it to a spectator and they're opening it themselves to find the final reveal. That for me is, well up there with sort of how clean I want the ending of my magic to be like. There's plenty of other force bags or force um, devices where you have to be quite hands on and this isn't one of them and the fact that it looks so natural like this is a hell of a bonus. Right, one final bad point. I live in the UK and there's no one that carries these around, right? There's no one that carries coin purses around. Now, a lot of people say that's not an issue and to be fair, it isn't really an issue. Um, people know what these are, but it isn't a common carry item. And whether one of these would suit your character or not as a performer is debatable. It really needs to have something in it, personally, for me. So, like, I'd, I'd, ha I'd have to have it sort of carrying something. The rationale for it to be used in my performance would need to be quite strong. I'm going to have to end on a good point. It's really cool looking. Like, even if I was out and about, and I just sort of had this in my pocket and I had sort of some, some bits in it. Um, I wouldn't feel sort of too geeky sort of pulling it out um, like I would with most coin purses. Just because it feels like the quality of it and the way that it's produced and knowing what it can do. It's just very cool. It's finally made coin purses cool. 
that's a bit mind blowing, isn't it? So, there we have it, guys. That is Quiver. Kelvin Chow did a great job producing these. Glitch Studios have done a great job producing these. One thing I have found is when you're handing it to people, sometimes they don't quite know what to do with these. As I say, it's not a common item in the UK. So they're, they're literally opening it like this. Um, so you have to mimic to people, say, can you just squeeze the sides and just open it for me? And they do it. Not a big deal, that's just bare minimum audience, um, audience control, or whatever you want to call it. Other than that, great product. Thanks a lot, Kelvin Chow. Thanks a lot, Glitch Studios, for producing it. And I will be getting years and years of good quality magic out of this product. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for staying tuned for another workers' review. And uh, I'll see you soon. Ciao.